Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing one of my absolute favorite videos to film and we are talking about the Sephora VIB sale. Now, in case you guys missed it, Sephora is doing a surprise bonus sale this year. Normally, the VIB sale happens in the spring and fall, so, well, yeah, late fall. So usually we see uh, the sale in uh, April timeframe and then again in November. So this year it's uh, happening in August. It actually starts tomorrow, August 24th, and runs through September the 2nd. So we have uh, quite a while to shop the sale. They did send out uh, coupons in the mail, but you should have also gotten an email if you are a beauty insider. So the way that the sale is working this time around, uh, the Sephora V or just a Sephora beauty insider is going to receive 10% off. If you're a VIB, you'll get 15. And if you are a Rouge, you get 20% off this time. They're not doing like tiered start dates. Everyone starts at the same time. And, um, yeah, that is what is happening now. I don't know 100% for sure, but I have heard rumors that this is just a bonus additional sale this year and they're still going to do their November sale. So, um, it's not like you, if you miss this sale, you're going to miss out completely, but it's a great bonus sale. I'm excited. I actually had a gift card saved that I was planning to spend while I was at Disneyland. I love stopping in at the Disney Sephora whenever I'm there and I'm actually going to be there during these dates. So I am so excited. I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of this discount. Couple things I wanted to mention really quick before we get into my recommendations. Number one, there is a lot of noise going on outside, but this is my last chance to film before we go out of town and I really, really wanted to get this video up for you guys. So if you hear they're out there doing the whole landscaping thing, if you hear that, I do apologize. I just needed to get this filmed ASAP. And then also, as you guys can see, we are moving soon, which you guys probably already heard me say, but I have boxes everywhere and my room is kind of in disarray right now. So please excuse the chaos and mess going around, uh, around me right now. So let's get into these recommendations. So with the Sephora sale recommendations, the way that the Sephora sale works, it's basically the entire store on sale. And, um, as a for former Sephora employee, I have a lot of favorites from Sephora. So my recommendations, I could tell you guys about 200 different products that I love from Sephora. So I could make these videos super long if I wanted to, but I try to narrow it down to, first of all, things that I haven't talked about a whole lot on my channel or things that I love so much that I need to let you guys know about it. So some of these you have heard me talk about quite a few times, but I did try to select some new things that you guys maybe not have have maybe not heard me talk about quite as much, but that I really do love and I think would be good in investments during this sale. What else did I want to say? Oh, uh, one more thing that I wanted to say is that, uh, I'm sorry if this intro is really super long, but you guys know how I work. I, I'm, I'm kind of rambly. Um, one more thing I wanted to say is I do feel like Sephora timed this sale in order to be competitive with the Ulta sale. So if you're not familiar, the Ulta 21 day sale begins September the 2nd. So, oh, and this sale runs through the third. I'll have to put it on the screen because I didn't pull, bring the coupon up with me. I think the Sephora sale runs through the third and the Ulta sale begins on the second. So I feel like Sephora did that on purpose where they are, they're like right in front of Ulta with this sale uh, to try to capture some of the money that Ulta gets during their 21 day sale. And I do have, I did already film my Ulta 21 day sale recommendation video. That's going to be going up very soon as well. A little spoiler, I was a little disappointed with the Ulta 21 day sale this year. Um, so I think I will be shopping the Sephora sale instead. Then I can pick what products I want instead of shopping the very selective list of products that Ulta comes out with. Okay, let's jump in because I have a lot of products sitting here. Now I do have a few products here and then I'm going to be inserting photos for the things that I've already packed up because I, I only have a few of the things that I wanted to mention here with me in person. But the first thing I wanted to mention is from Kate Somerville. This is one I have mentioned a few times on my channel before, um, but this is such a go-to product and a staple in my collection. I have gone through, I think five of these now. I go through this like water in the summertime. Um, anytime I'm going to beach or anything, I always bring it. This is called the uncomplicated uh, makeup setting spray. It's got an SPF of 50. The reason I love this so much is 
Like if I go somewhere outdoors with a full face of makeup on, I don't want to reapply my sunscreen over my makeup and mess up my makeup, but this doesn't do that because it's a setting spray. So you can reapply, you should reapply sunscreen every two hours. So if you're at the beach all day and you have some makeup on so you don't want to rub a sunscreen into your makeup, this is the best way to do it. And I just, I don't know what I did <laughs> before I had this. I just didn't reapply sunscreen, which is not good. Um, so I am I'm really happy that they came out with this product. I use it all the time, like I mentioned, and I would highly recommend picking this up. If you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. I think you guys will really like it, especially if you spend a lot of time outdoors and you are wanting to protect your skin. This is a fantastic item. Let's stick with the aerosol cans. I got another aerosol can here. So next up, I wanted to mention this. This is from uh, Elizabeth and James. It is the Nirvana Black Dry Shampoo. I love this dry shampoo so much, you guys, for a couple different reasons. Um, it's very effective. So it does a very good job of actually absorbing the oil um, in your hair. And I feel like some dry shampoos just really don't do that, even though that's the main purpose of a dry shampoo. I feel like some of them don't do that. But it also gives me amazing texture to my hair. It makes my hair look super full and voluminous. It smells fantastic. If you guys haven't smelt it before, definitely give it a, a, a little sniff in the store before purchasing it because people either love this scent or they hate the scent. I personally love it. It's definitely more of a spicy, musky scent, so if you don't like those heavier, deeper scents, maybe stay away from it. But this scent reminds me of fall. So now that we're heading into fall, I repurchased mine and I've been using it like crazy. Like I'm, I'm wishing, wishing fall would get here faster. I'm so over this summer and over this heat. It's been so hot here. So anyway, this particular product and scent just reminds me of fall and I am loving it. So I definitely wanted to mention this guy as well. All right, next I do have a couple of skincare products that I wanted to mention here in front of me. The first one, <clears throat> this I have mentioned many, many times, but I really just think it's such a great product and very underhyped, so I wanted to include it in this video. This is the Sephora Collection um, Eye Makeup Remover. It's the waterproof one. This stuff is so good, you guys. Every single VIB sale, I purchase it, unless this one is still really full because I just got it in the spring sale and I'm not ready for a new one. I'll probably need a new one in November, but this is just such a great one because it does not irritate my eyes and I am a contact wearer. My eyes do get a little sensitive, but this does not irritate my eyes whatsoever and it is just very effective. It gets everything off, even waterproof eye makeup, and it doesn't leave any residue behind. I cannot stand having um, like mascara stuck on my lashes the next morning. That drives me crazy and it's so damaging, but this gets everything off and it's so affordable, which is the other reason why I love it. I think this size is about $15, so it's already super affordable, but as long as there's a sale, you might as well pick it up and save a little extra money. I just think it's a great product, and if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try. I feel like it's such a great value. Okay, more skincare for you guys. So this one I've mentioned a few times, but I just think it's one of my go-to products, so I definitely wanted to include this as well. This is from Saturday Skin, and it is called the Rub-A-Dub Peeling Gel. Uh, this is just so effective at removing any of the uh, dead skin sitting on the top layers of your, um, you know, face. So uh, it is a, a rolling peeling gel, so it's very gentle and calming. So if you have sensitive skin and you can't use like abrasive um, exfoliators, definitely try this one. It's super gentle and um, effective at the same time. So I definitely recommend this. I've been obsessed with that guy. Okay, uh, this guy is not gonna surprise you at all. This is something I talk about in almost every single video. If I can get a way to bring this up, I will. This is one of my absolute favorite skincare products I've ever tried. It's from Algenist. It's the Complete Eye Renewal Balm. This is so hydrating and so creamy. When I'm not using this, I notice a significant difference in the look of my under eye. I feel like it I, my under eye just looks more aged when I'm not using this and then I start using this and it just looks hydrated and plump and I don't see those little fine lines and wrinkles. This is just like a little miracle jar. I love this so much and I know you guys are probably so tired of hearing me talk about it, but just in case you haven't heard me talk about it before, try this eye cream. It will change your life. I'm not even exaggerating. I know that sounds super dramatic, but you guys, like, I, I think I've gone through like eight 
eight of these. Like, I just continuously buy it. Every time I run out, I go out and buy another one. By the way, if you ever see it as a point perk, which it often shows up in the 100 and 500 point perks, um, the 500 you get a bunch of other stuff too from Algenist, always get it. Like, you get so much in those little point perk jars. It's definitely worth your points, so if you ever see that, definitely cash in, but this is definitely something I would recommend picking up during the sale. It's such a fantastic product and definitely a staple in my collection. Okay, and then the last skincare product that I have sitting in front of me, this is from Laneige, I believe is how you pronounce it. it. This is the Lip Sleeping Mask. I actually picked this up during the spring uh, VIB sale, and I've been using it ever since then, and it's just like a, a very intense... It's a very intense lip treatment that is meant to be worn overnight. So it's almost like a mask for your lips. This is so good, you guys. It is very creamy and very hydrating, but it's not like, it doesn't have a weird texture. It doesn't feel sticky or uncomfortable or anything like that on the lips. It and I've definitely noticed a huge difference with my lips since I started using this. My lips are just not as dry. Uh, it used to be really hard for me to wear liquid lipsticks. I still don't love wearing li liquid lipsticks. They're still very drying, but it used to be uh, that it would just make my lips, lips look so cracked and so dry, and I've noticed a huge difference since I started using this. So I would definitely recommend this product. I think it's definitely worth giving a try. Now I did have a couple skincare items that I've already packed up that I wanted to mention as well. The first one is from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Hungarian Thermal Water, uh, it's got a long name, Thermal Water Mineral Rich Atomic Heat Mask. This mask is so good, you guys. If you have um, acne prone skin or if your skin gets congested easily or if you just feel like it really needs a good detox, definitely try this mask. It's really cool, like it gives you this really cool sensation, actually opposite of cool. It's a heating sen sensation, but it feels, it just feels nice. Um, but yeah, when you apply it, it um, it feels almost like butter. That's the best way I can explain it. Like it's got that really kind of oily, but thick feeling at the same time. Um, and then you leave it on for a few minutes. And then when you add the water in, that's when it heats up. And it really does heat up. Like it feels warm, it feels hot on your skin, um, but I really love the way that it feels and afterwards your skin just feels, your your face just feels really invigorated and just like awake and I don't know, it's just this really cool feeling. So I highly recommend giving it a try. I've really been enjoying this mask. I feel like mine's almost halfway gone already and I have not owned it that long. I did do a full review on it, so I'll try to link that above if I remember to, but um, definitely recommend that mask. I wanted to mention that in this video. And then I also had to mention, you guys knew, I could not do this video without mentioning the Kate Somerville Redisphere Micro Peel. I actually packed mine up. I don't know why. Like I was actually looking for it last night and I was like, why did I pack that? Because <laughs> I normally bring that with me whenever I travel, but anyway, it is packed now. Um, but I love this micro peel. It is so transforming for your skin. Whenever I am using this product, I feel like I just don't have the problems with the breakouts that I can sometimes get. I do have very acne prone skin, but I feel like those uh, breakouts are just non-existent when I'm using this product. And it's gentle though, it doesn't feel too harsh. A lot of ret retinol type products or um, peeling products can be very harsh on your skin. This one is not, it's very gentle but effective at the same time. It's expensive though, so, so I would definitely recommend picking it up during a sale. So this is a great time to get it when you can get it for a discount. Um, it's $90, so it's an expensive item, but definitely worth it. It's one of those items that has made the biggest difference in my skin. That one and the Algenis Complete Eye Renewal Balm, like, if you haven't tried those two products, you just have to try them, trust me. Okay, one more skincare product that I wanted to mention, and uh, this one, I get again, I already, did I pack this one? Yeah, it's right next to me, I forgot. I packed it in my Disney bag because I'm bringing this. We're gonna be doing some pool days and I, I've already told you guys this before but in case you missed it, I won't go to the pool without this on my legs now. This is from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Boom Boom Cream. Um, I usually like bringing the travel size ones with me when I, when I travel but uh, I already packed all those and thank goodness I didn't pack this one because and it's almost gone too, which is that I love the way this smells. That's one of the reasons I like it so much. And the smell really does last on your skin for a really long time. But the thing that I love about this is that it gives this really beautiful glow to your skin. Um, some people feel like 
I just bit. Some people feel like it's a little glittery, and I don't think it's glittery. It just, when it catches the light, it almost looks like you have a highlighter on your legs. That's what it looks like, like a, a Becca highlighter. <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like, and it just makes your skin and your legs look really hydrated and glowy and youthful, which I could always use personally, so I love this, and like I said, this is a must-have for me. All right. Let's move on to the makeup because I do have quite a few makeup products to mention as well. First of all, I had to talk about these because I have been using these non-stop recently. These are from Huda Beauty. They're the little um, obsession palette. So I own two. I have the Mava Obsessions and the Warm Brown Obsessions. I would like to get more of these. I think they're just so great. What I love about them is the formula is fantastic, first of all. I love how com compact these are and how much product you get in this little tiny palette. So it's so great for travel. I've been traveling with these because we've been traveling so much this summer. I've pretty much had these out on my desk desktop or in my travel makeup case all summer long. And they are coming with me to Disney. I just, I think they're so good. And you get so much versatility in these little palettes. Also, I feel like they're very uh, well curated. Like all these colors complement each other so well. You can come up with so many different looks and all of them are very complimentary. Like you almost, it's almost foolproof. You almost can't go wrong with these because they did really think about the color combinations in specifically these these two um, but yeah I really love them I think they're fantastic if you have not tried these palettes give them a try the formula is just so good yeah I really really love these and I would definitely recommend either of these colors but really the Huda mini palettes in general I think the formula is fantastic all right, next up, this is something I talk about a lot. This is from Tarte. It's the Opening Act um, Lash Primer. This is my favorite lash primer. It's my go-to. I think it is fantastic. It gives a great amount of volume to your lashes, so no matter what mascara I pair it with, it just adds an insane amount of volume, and anytime I run out of this, I go and buy a new one. I've tried so many other lash primers trying to find a dupe for this, and I couldn't find one, so definitely recommend that guy. And then the next thing that I have to mention, this is actually fairly new to me, but I've been using it nonstop. It is the concealer I'm wearing today, and I really, really enjoy this. It's from First Aid Beauty. It's the Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. Um, they did send this to me in PR. I've been using the shade number two, by the way, um, and it does have like that doe foot applicator. What I like about this concealer is that it gives me a good amount of under eye coverage because I do have dark circles under my eyes. It gives me a good amount of coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy or cakey whatsoever. It's sort of like the NARS Creamy Concealer, but lighter weight. In fact, one of my uh, girlfriends that I used to work with at Sephora said she compared it to a combination of uh, the NARS Creamy Concealer and the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and she's like, if they had a baby, that would be this. I, I totally agree with that. So thank you, Courtney, for uh, explaining how this works, because I feel like that's actually a really good explanation of this concealer. So if you like the NARS Creamy Concealer and the Urban Decay All Night, no, wait, and the Urban Decay uh, Naked Concealer, but you're looking, I feel like the Naked Concealer doesn't give me enough coverage, and the NARS Concealer sometimes can get a little heavy, but it's almost like a, the perfect combination of the two. So I've been enjoying it quite a bit, and I would highly recommend that one. All right, a few more recommendations that I do not have in person. So again, I'm gonna go back to inserting some photos here for you guys. I'm gonna try to hurry up though, because I feel like this video is getting pretty long. Uh, next is the Clinique Cheek Pop Blushes. This is my favorite formula for blush. I love these blushes. I think I have four shades um, and I love them. I want more shades. I think it's such a great formula. Really long wearing, really easy to apply and to blend. It's just like the pigmentation on it is so perfect. Um, so yeah, definitely recommended that. Next, I wanted to recommend the Becca Sunlit Bronzer, one of my favorite bronzers. They're so beautiful, so glowy. I just have one shade. I have the shade Capri Coast, and it's fantastic for my skin tone, so I would definitely recommend that shade if you have a similar skin tone to me, but the, just the formula of this bronzer, I think, is what's really fantastic. It just blends beautifully, so... Not a lot to say about that, let's move on. Next, I had to mention one other bronzer. This is from uh, Marc Jacobs. It's the Omega bronzer, uh, the coconut one, the newer one. 
I think it's called Tantastic, yeah. That one, I love this bronzer so much. It was limited edition, and thank goodness he brought it back as a permanent item, so I would definitely recommend this bronzer if you have a fair to medium skin tone. It is beautiful. It's got a cooler undertone. Not super cool, it's more like a neutral undertone, um, but you could definitely use it for contouring with or just bronzing up the face. I think it's gorgeous. I love the packaging on it. It's so sleek and so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend that one. Next, I had to mention the brand new Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I did do a full review on this product as well. This is one of my absolute favorite setting powders now. In fact, it might be my favorite. It just is so beautiful. It's so finely milled. It just sets your um, your foundation without looking at all powdery. Like, I don't know how it does it. It just sets everything and makes your, your foundation look skin-like. It's just like a magic powder. I love the way it looks on the skin and I can't explain it other than it's so, so good. Um, it's a little expensive though. So I would definitely recommend picking it up during a sale and I think you guys would really like it. It does also come in a travel size, by the way, if you're wanting to try it but not invest the full $46 in a full size one, you could always get the travel size. Plus, you know, it, unless it's your only powder, it's probably gonna take you a while to go through it. So give it a try though, you guys, you won't be disappointed. All right, and then the very last product that I wanted to mention is another setting powder. It's another one that I mentioned in that uh, recent review video. It's the Marc Jacobs Beauty uh, Finish Line Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder. This, it was hard for me to choose a favorite between this one and the Hourglass one. I think they're both absolutely stunning, gorgeous powders. Um, and this one is a couple dollars cheaper. It's $44, but they don't have the smaller size. But I love the packaging on this one as well. Um, it is really nice and sleek. It doesn't take up a lot of space, but it also has like the best uh, dispensing system on a powder, uh, a loose powder that I've ever seen. It has like the perfect netting where you can get the product out, but it doesn't like poof up every time you open it, which is hard to find one like that. So I've been enjoying both of those powders. I highly recommend either one of them. Uh, you probably don't need both, but I love both. So I'd, re I'd recommend either one. All right, you guys, that is my very long list of recommendations. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I definitely could go on and on about products I love from Sephora. I have so many favorites from Sephora, but, but I do also have a wish list video coming up for you guys. I already filmed the wish list and it was actually super short, you guys. The video is like only six minutes long because I have been trying to control myself as far as purchasing makeup. But I will definitely share a haul with you guys after the sale. Because like I said, I am planning to shop the sale. And you know you know how it is. When you're in store, you have the best intentions to just pick up the things on your list. And then you're, you get distracted. And there's so many shiny, pretty things. So I will definitely be sharing a haul with you guys afterwards. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I would love to hear what are you guys planning to pick up during the sale. Let me know. Maybe I'll add some things to my short wish list. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.